So welcome back uh, to the AM show. Now time for the AM talk. Over here, we get the opportunity to uh, dissect the issues making headlines. And I have with me in the studio already Honorable Boniface Gambila Adagbila. He's MP for Nabdam constituency from the Upper East. Good morning, sir. Good Thanks morning. for joining me. And I also have Honis Ni Ai Ankra. He's former chairman, UK and Ireland chapter of the NDC. Good morning. Very good morning to Welcome you. Welcome to the show. Well, uh, this morning we're hearing news that a police officer has been shot and killed by suspected armed robbers at Wager in Accra. Uh, we told this near the West Hills Mall. Constable Charles Akata, said to be in his late 30s, sustained gunshot wounds during a shootout with a gang of robbers. The incident occurred at around 12 a.m. Wednesday morning near the West Hills Mall. He was rushed to the hospital but died shortly. His body has been deposited at the police hospital morgue. Um, Briefly, I would ask uh, for your comments, and I'll start with Honis. Uh, briefly, Horis, yeah. Horis. Briefly, I want you to comment about this uh, incident. Okay. Um, my condolences to um, the Breed family. Um, I realized that um, on the front page, um, you can see the wife um, crying, and um, you could see her pain. So my condolences to the brief family. Um, it's rather unfortunate, and um, if it should also happen around the, is it the new mall around Wager, then it, it is also telling us that um, when we develop these new places, uh, we have to have to up um, our security games on in, the, in those areas. Um, it's rather unfortunate, and um, I know that in the capital city, crime actually went down by 25%. So for us to hear of this uh, at this point in time, I think that um, it's, 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 um, it's sad. And um, hopefully uh, it wouldn't happen again. I don't I didn't know whether the police were actually prepared in terms of the gear that they had at that point in time. Because I know that night patrol or uh, the police that combat these sort of um, armed robbers are always sort of like um, in um, proper gear to... Uh, ward off these bullets, um, but um, I should say that um, kudos to the police for arresting these armed robbers. Uh, my condolences to the family. Honorable Boniface. Yeah, I think it's a pity, and uh, we we have to sympathise with the family and uh, wish them God's blessings to recover from this trauma. Um, this issue of armed robbery, I think, is becoming an embarrassment to to our national security, and we need to double up uh, our efforts. You know, we over the period we have been very satisfied with the security interventions, uh, and I think in the, we 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 were doing very well. <laughs> uh, however, you we have packets of this kind of uh, 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 what psychopaths behaving in this light. Now, what, what can we say again that is the cause of all this? Is it the issue of no jobs for people to do? Or is it that people are just interested in uh, quick money and they, they think that the recourse to quick money is just this kind of attacks? Uh, we should have a serious way of monitoring our arms movement in the system. I think we still haven't done well. Uh, how do these people get arms uh, perhaps not registered? And we've never, I've never heard in this country that some arms have been recovered um, after an, an, an arm robbery attack and it has been traced to by a certain number because I know arms are numbered and you register, you have all these particulars, such that it can be traced back to where it was purchased, who purchased it, and all those kind of things. I think we still have a, a, a very big gap there. Then, uh, in terms of our national security, what was the, the target for the year uh, to achieve? Our police, our military, or whatever, 
did we set make provision for a certain percentage of casualty or of a certain percentage for armed robbery? Did we do that? So sometimes it's difficult for me personally to say uh, in terms of performance by the police, they've done well, it's exceptional, it's excellent. It's difficult because I have never seen the security service setting out the target and make it, making it public to us. Because we, we, we should have zero, zero arm robbery if possible. But it's difficult, as I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So they need to set realistic targets and at least uh, make provision for some of these things. You also realize we have spent so much time talking of police visibility. Mm. Uh, yes, visibility, daytime, OK, night. And honestly, the patrols on the roads have improved tr uh, tremendously, I must be honest, because I travel a lot north and south, mm. and I, I think that has improved over the period. But you see, as my, my brother said here, the gears provided, we, we talked of bulletproofs. We still cannot give our police bulletproofs. That but, is but a problem. Horace, um, mm. it, is it not worrying that now the armed robbers are becoming more powerful than the police? That is it, is it the case that the police do not have enough weapons to work with? Or is it that the police themselves lack training that they cannot face this kind of circumstances? What, what is the problem? I, I don't think that the, the armed robbers are more powerful than the police. The police are certainly more powerful than the armed robbers. But... Um, I think in, in such situations, you find the armed robbers more determined, you, you, you get me, uh, not to be arrested. Um, interestingly, um, just like my honorable friend said, um, tracing these arms back to where they came from and stuff like that, you'd be surprised to know that um, in recent times, I think somewhere last month there was, or last week, there was something in Kumasi and the police um, commander, the second in, in command at the Ashanti Duku. region, Duku. Yeah, was saying that in his 20 something years service in yeah. the police, he's never seen such uh, 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 a, a weapon. weapon. Yeah. You understand? Wow. So, yes. So, are they also manufacturing these things? Are they putting certain things together? You know something? You'd be surprised that um, even these guys who go around um, buying scraps, metal kind of thing. Some of them, you don't even know where they end up. Some of these things could end up in some places where they can use it in manufacturing um, simple gun, uh, um, oh, I mean, simple weapons to sort of like um, uh, embark on these um, unfortunate trade. And then, um, so I, need, I think we need to do more. We need to do more. But um, like police visibility, yes. Um, but you see, one thing, you'll be invisible. Another thing, you actually working. Yeah. Yes. So well, sometimes you you actually see the police car there, and you don't even see the personnel there. I don't know whether they intentionally go into hiding to then when somebody makes a mistake, then they come out. But mostly you see that there's a car parked, but you don't see police people around. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, the, I mean, I mean, police visibility has actually improved, but as to the work. Mm -hmm. in the particular area that they're supposed to be doing something mm. it, it's, it's another thing yeah you understand um yes you will see them um, i think you find a police uh, pickup packed with about five personnel and then down the road <laughs> there's something happening and it's like and nobody cares nobody three of them will be on their mm -hmm. mobile phones yeah. um, i think i know that the igp has actually warned them against these the use of mobile phones when they're on duty. on duty. But all in all, um, certain targets, like um, my good friend uh, mentioned, I think crime rates in the um, capital has actually reduced by 25% mm. according to the police statistics mm. for um, last year. Uh, I don't know about the other regions, mm. but um, I think that um, um, they need to do more in terms of the gear uh, provided for the police to combat these um, uh, unfortunate mm. incidents mm -hmm. yeah but um over the years okay you know we wanted to say something yes you 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 talked of training and whatever it is logistics, uh, logistics I, think we, we, I think we still have a shortfall in logistics mm. and uh, training training uh, the the training we I think they still stick to the traditional training mm. when things are dynamic so they need to move <laughs> we on need to from move on. that and 
the fact that these people have been arrested mm -hmm. also tells you that the police is on top. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we actually look at the see, uh, the scene and how it happened, then you may say, yeah, the problem is training, but sometimes it's not training. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the area, I don't know what time it happened. But you want to mean, look at the uh, fact that these armed robbers plan yeah. a lot. They sit down and they plan and execute their task. And so the police must always be on top. Uh, they uh, must be so. ahead of the armed robbers. And that is why when you talk of the traditional training, I think they should come they out from to, that to go and ahead. rather look out for uh, uh, modding techniques yes. of nabbing this and you, kind of you people. take note again that, but you see, my, uh, Horace made mention of the IGP warning cautioning police, them. cautioning police in use of telephone. That, he has to be careful with that mm. because sometimes how will I communicate with a policeman? But they I know have, that they I, have the, uh, they work, have the, the working talk. That, that is, that is for their communicate. internal communication, but okay. not, for example, I know that there's an okay. armed robbery here. Okay, I, I try, I try the, the so, so it boils down to the I logistics matter that you're talking about. Because, mm. yeah. for example, I mean, you come across these. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to mention on uh, an exercise no, that, that, that I conducted, you, have to mm. you understand? But trust me, 95% of them on mobile phones are not to report any incident. Because they you see, you see them in their, like a discount yeah. manner. Mm. They are WhatsApping. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you can tell. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you, you can tell. Yeah, that yeah I, I quite agree with that. But I just, I just think that we, we should have a certain way. You see, sometimes you call the emergency number. Mm -hmm. You don't get it, mm. but it will happen that you know uh, I have a sister who is a police mm. on duty mm. or a friend police on duty, okay, so and there is a problem really here, and I can person. call her. On. You know, we but have I to be a little that bit. That is acceptable, I but I, I believe that what the IGP is saying is not totally to weigh policemen from using their mobile phones, but that, to stay on your mobile phone, yeah. chatting What's about happening? unnecessary uh, things that, when that you is are right. on duty. So that comes to Probably training. That, is that what comes the to IGP training. Is talking that about. comes to training. Of course, it comes to the training. Yeah. This has to be. That's why we were just it talking about training. It has to be professional. Professionally trained. And discipline. Exactly. The attitude. You see, when you go and train people how to shoot, mm. how to arrest, mm. but you, you do not train them in terms of attributes mm. and attitudes, yeah. then I, you haven't completed the training. Exactly. Most of the issues are stake is an issue of attitude. Mm. And the recruitment process, we have to be careful. Yes. We need to use proper assessment techniques. Mm. To recruit, mm. but here's a case where doing some mass recruitment, mm. they just look at your body, look at your <laughs> your documents. And, and, and sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we, yeah. we are told that politicians also come in and hold their um, nephews and friends and say, "Please, I want that, you to put him there, whether that, he's qualified there is, or that's not." That's the discipline Has I'm talking about. Hasn't gotten to the time <laughs> where we should be looking at those things. That no, we if you're a politician's nephew or cousin or whatever, and you don't qualify, we will not pick you. Well, I mean, I, I know that everything, everything is drop at the doorsteps of we politicians. <laughs> but um, trust me, how many politicians do we have? Mm. You understand? Mm. I mean, it's just a number, a few um, number of people who are politicians and you could say are influential. Mm. Um, having said that, you have um, other people, uh, yeah, outnumbering at, at politicians so <laughs> I wouldn't buy into that mm. now but what I can add to this and um, probably we we'll move on is that if you take certain countries like the UK the Americas and all those Germanys and stuff like that one other thing that they do in combating certain things is that look you can you can today arrest yeah the main man the guru of a particular armed robbery kind of or a gang let's say somewhere Mm. in any area at all yeah mm. now what do we do when these people are sent into prison okay. rehabilitation is mm. part of the whole system yeah. in actually bringing down these things the crime, the crime rate. rate you see some of these people are rehabilitated in a way that they come back and actually help the police yeah mm. or bni or whatever it is mm. in that particular country to combat whatever it is. Some of them also come out yeah. hardened. <laughs> well, some of them It's the out. nature of the... That's what he's just yeah. talking. It's mm. the nature of our prisons. It's the nature yeah. of our prisons. Yeah. You see, that place is not for you to be like, um, Tale, you are gone there and you're condemned. Mm. Uh, it should be a place where when you go, reformed. you are sort of like reformed. Mm. So that at least when you come back, um, 
you be a I, better I know of a person. story in America where the guy was the best forger on earth. I mean, he can actually forge signatures. He can actually print checkbooks and stuff like that, mm. licenses and stuff. You know, when he was sent into prison, after a number of years, he came back, okay? He was employed. Mm -hmm. Because he's intelligent. Yes, yes. Intelligent. And, and, and checkbooks checkbooks and even the bank notes and stuff so like they that. Made you, the they yes. made use of They it. made use of mm -hmm. yeah. Now he's, he's, he's not a, 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 a criminal. Forger, a criminal. No. Now he's a millionaire. You okay. understand? Okay. So um, the way we also handle uh, these guys. I think guys that we should yeah. improve our yeah. prison services. Yeah. To actually and, rehabilitate and, them. And are you not also worried uh, about the fact that sometimes we have some of these police men uh, mentioned in some of the armed robbery cases that they aid some of the armed robbers in operation? Is it that they themselves supply them with the weapons and then now they're using it against them? <laughs> Yeah. That is that is the, the the recruitment process I mentioned, and you need to match people with their jobs, and there are very simple processes. And when you use those processes, it here again eliminates the nepotism you're talking about. Mm. Politicians coming with this, I I do recruitment and assessment for certain institutions here. The chief executive, the ministers will come, and we say yes. Perhaps they were late in applying to to be uh, interviewed. Mm. But so, because you are a, politici a big politician, you are a <laughs> or the chief executive himself, mm. the managing director, yeah. own relatives. So, say, so yeah, bring them in. We can agree. The, the, the window is, yeah, we bring them. But they must go through the assessment. Yeah. If you fail, you fail. And some of them normally drop out. Mm. There are instances, I wouldn't mention the organization, but I worked with it, I did work with it. The minister came boiling. Oh, yeah, my children said you were doing it. They did the exam. You said they haven't passed. We said, bring the old records. Put them on the table. Then he said, look at the score. Look at this person's score. Mm. Look at the results board. Mm. Nothing. So the minister went back ashamed. Okay. So you use the best practices of recruiting and uh, matching people with their jobs. And that will be it. So whether politician, chief executive, if the chief executive, of course, he has power to say yes, uh, Horace is my own son, mm. so I want to pick him in. That is a different matter mm. because he cannot pick yeah. hundred out of yeah. <laughs> uh, so whatever it is. Mm. So we we the 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 government too needs to increase the intake of police mm. and. Uh, the delay in recruiting and the, for two years we haven't recruited mm. and i don't know what has happened about mm. training and equipment sometimes but then you will find that it has opened a leeway people mm. are going about collecting five thousand from individuals in the and system promising them. scam mm. and made over a billion mm. uh, 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 cities mm. so we, we, we just have to relook at it. Why all that? We should put money in the proper Do place, we need yeah. to increase the intake of police or we need to ensure that even those that we have are well equipped and well trained to be able to curb crime? Because we, sometimes we, you find that we have a lot of the police and some of them don't even do anything. They just go roam about and go is, home. It's the management. So it's both. I cannot say it should be uh, uh, either this or that. It should be both. Look at the numbers. Looking at our environment, <laughs> the, the mere increase of numbers, making them present elsewhere, is a good thing to deal with. Mm. That will, will curtail a lot of this mm. sort of crime. Well, I'm tempted because, to ask yeah. the question that yeah. if, if the, uh, some of them yeah. are involved in this armed robbery operations yeah. On, yeah. and they go training the armed yeah. robbers, you think that <laughs> when the armed robbers see them, I mean, they are our friends, what do we fear about yes. them? So, yes, yeah, so, uh, certainly, if they are, some of them have been arrested. Oh, definitely, And yes. you deal with them. Oh, sure. You don't, no favor, mm. no pity. Mm. You deal with them in the right way. And try to have a mechanism in the system where you can identify the bad knots and put them. But the basic point is the recruitment practice. Well, I guess the yeah. whole point, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, the bottom line is On the recruitment, recruitment. Yes. making sure you recruit the right people, yeah. not just looking at people and thinking that they are yeah. honest and they can do their job, yeah. but going through certain processes that will ensure that we don't have policemen who will be aiding armed robbers and all of that. But well the, the, the bigger issue... I think, I think, I think, I think the, uh, the system is, is not bad at all. Um, when, when we talk about, like um, Honorable said, increasing the numbers and stuff like that, that comes with 
uh, money, mm -hmm. you understand. I think the, the, uh, another thing that we can look at when we're talking about money is to sort of like um, practice the constabulary kind of system mm -hmm. where it is different in the Ashanti region, different in Greater Accra and stuff like that, where, uh, let's say, the Accra Metropolitan Assembly would actually generate the money, yeah, give that to the police and say, look, we have 500 people that we want to have, 200, 200 people for transport, uh, 200 for crime and 100 for something else, yeah, we add them to your training system and then you train them. Uh -huh. They come out here, then nothing, uh, there is no bedding to uh, the, the police, police service yeah. or government. They come out and then they are police people, let's say in the transport sector, in the crime sector and in other sectors. So I think all in all, another thing that we could do yeah, way forward is the constabulary kind of system. But the bigger issue of armed robbery has been one of the challenges for, I guess, every nation in this world, that, but or most nations in this world, to tackle armed robbery. Even in the U.S., you, you hear that there are armed robbery cases, even in the developed world. But let's talk about our own country. Um, Ghana is uh, over the years, we've enjoyed that kind of uh, accolade that uh, Ghanaians are God-fearing, mm -hmm. Ghanaians, they, they, are, they don't want trouble. So how did we put ourselves in this whole issue of armed robbery every day, hearing this one shooting, this one, this one looting, this one? Last year, a lot of people um, went into people's homes, killed them, steal, and, and all of that. How did we get ourselves into this, Horace? Um... <laughs> It's, it's interesting. I, I don't want to say that it's, it's a trade. It's <laughs> Otherwise, people might, get, uh, people might get into it. Oh, yes. But, I mean, can you imagine a, a schoolboy being asked what you want to do in future and he is saying that I would want to be an arm robber? That's really? it. That's so, so it, tells you, it tells you a lot. It, it, it tells you a lot. And um, it's all about need as well. Mm. You understand? It's all about need. It's all about poverty. Mm. Um, if, if you are really in need, you are easily recruited into anything at all mm -hmm. that can end you something. Okay. So I'm sure that um, if we can actually um, look at us employing more of the youth, mm. look at us um, actually um, changing our slums into more um, uh, sort reformed of like reformed areas. kind of communities and stuff like that, um, making sure that people get their hands on jobs and stuff like that. I think because that, um, Satan finds work for the idol, isn't yes, it? Yes, certainly. I, I think that can also reduce um, um, this, this sort of like... Um, it, it will make it... Uh, so can we anyway. then make the point that because there's unemployment, that is why we are experiencing this kind of uh, situation no, it's a factor. in our country? It is a factor. Mm. It is a huge factor. Mm. Um, even, even uh, with terrorism, mm. I mean, it's a huge factor. That is why people, let's say, people in Somalia and stuff. And like what that is government are, doing are about this? Oh, certainly, government is, is is doing something about unemployment. Mm. Um, we can see that government is not doing anything at all about unemployment. Mm. In fact, uh, we know that government is trying to attract people into entrepreneurship. Mm. Uh, we have this yes project that um, the president uh, has actually initiated, mm. which I know that it is his baby. Um, there's so many things going on to get um, people into um, jobs. Um, but is it enough? Shouldn't government be worried that, uh, yes, we're doing it gradually, but the cr crime uh, aspect, is the pace is too fast, that we must also be fast so that we can catch up? Well, I think we have to be honest. I think crime rate has actually reduced in the country. Yes, you know, but uh, armed robbery, crime rate has reduced, but let's look at armed robbery as it stands on its own. I think that we've experienced a, a, quite a number of them. Yeah, um, I don't have the statistics here but mm. I, I think that in that particular area too uh, um, it's on the decline uh, especially in the Ashanti region since uh, we, we we got coffee boy yeah, there coffee boy you understand mm. so it is also about um, the will of leadership mm. let's say I mean the, the way um, what is his title I mean DCOP DCOP uh, coffee Kwachi, Kwachi. Kwachi. Yeah. It's, it's operating in Kumasi you understand? When I say leadership, I'm talking like him in his sector, okay. not up there, because mm -hmm. we tend to be looking too high up, mm -hmm. um, whereas we can actually Solve challenge. Our issues oh yeah, we can challenge that. our leaders in various sectors to okay. uh, perform. Mm -hmm. So I think all in all, it's rather unfortunate that this morning we we're reading a whole front page of the newspaper in that regard. But I think 
um, uh, crime rate and arm robbery um, uh, it, it, it's, 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 it's under decline. Well, we hope that government will soon tackle the unemployment because for me, it's one of the biggest issues because when people are hungry, they will do anything. Like yeah, you rightly said, when people it's, are it's, hungry, it's, it's, they, they can venture It's also a factor, anything. as he has said. Mm. But others are there. Um, <laughs> it won't be an issue of uh, they have no jobs. They, 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 they simply it's a, want to. It becomes to. an innate thing and, and a, a belief. Okay. He, he, he mentioned terrorism, for example. If somebody believes that, he can uh, he can die being a terrorist apparently because of a religious issue and that if mm. he dies he will go to heaven you can't do anything so you can, to such an a person issue of an okay theory. so that's why um, and, um, people uh, yeah. in charge of uh, um, sections like Kofi Boashi is doing should strengthen up yeah. and, and nab all these people I mean the law should face this because yeah, nobody but, but should be stronger one thing we don't know should. one thing we don't know is the other crime uh, crimes that w we have not been able to detect mm. and so we need to dig deep and see uh, statistical figures of crime reduction and all that can be deceptive yes, yes. Yeah, because, we, because we some to, of the yes. crimes too are not recorded are not reported. so yes. if we so look at those that have been reported alone so we, have to, we, we may be yeah. deceiving ourselves we're hoping that um, Probably by the end of this year, we'll have uh, maybe an improvement, 50 right? an improvement, 50% reduction of crimes, and we, we know that we're making headway as a nation. But